Ah, uh, everyone's making You've my head me good all confused. Thank I don't you. know what to do. I'm confuzzled. What are you doing this to me? You're all like, uh, oh, you should make Duncan person. Hey everybody, it's Stephanie Old World Gamer, and welcome back to Game of Thrones! And we're still in the dark, we almost got caught, but we didn't get caught, we almost got caught, but we didn't get caught. Oh, should we help him? Nah. Nah. If he has anything, we'll take it. Someone's gonna come back, you know that, right? Why are you making me walk here? It's not like there's anything I can do. Bloody hell! Jesus. Oh, you just took off his skin. Not, not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. Just It's just skin. Mm. Well, I guess uh, we're somehow getting closer to the wall. Lord Ethan! As I was saying... Oh. You are young, Ironwood. and there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But three hundred generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. That's right. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was so good. He was fair and wise and courageous in battle. And what will they call me? That is for you to define as the new lord. No! These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Keep walking, you craven son of a whore. Move! <coughs> Summon the Lord! We need his judgment! Uh-oh. I've done nothing wrong! I was only trying to survive! <laughs> They're gonna force me to do something. Lord Ethan! Missed. Why did you kick this man? This craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! We all fucking know it! Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. You stole from us. I feared for my life. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's truth. Right. I've a family to feed. Oh. And not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone. Go. Lord Ethan. I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. We are in this together. You say that, but it won't be you who's starving come winter. <clears throat> You'll address him as Lord. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers, three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. We can send him to the war. Give us justice. 
Yes. Mm, great, now I have to make a big decision. I will Send him to the wall. Take his fingers. He's a thief. If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. You'll be an injustice, my lord. Please, my lord. My family depends on me. Our house tends to its people. See, this man is paid and his family is fed. Lord Ethan, you are truly a merciful and noble lord. My lord, this man is a criminal. A brazen thief. He still serves House Forrester and deserves our protection. He's a rat in our grain stores. My lord, we must speak about our gold reserves. Soon. My lord, I thank you for the mercy you've shown me. I will never forget my debt to you and to this house. I'll take it. People will be on your side. Everyone else just leaves. That was certainly unpleasant, but a lord must meet our punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. I did what I had to do, and it didn't bother me. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom. Who do you think I should choose? There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this Bracer upon your chosen Sentinel then. To Ooh. show that you are decisive and I in control of this house. Bodyguard. Your Sentinel will wear this for all to see. I'll make the right choice as Sentinel. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. Oh, I can go do stuff now. Go to the tower. I can look at... I, I'm trying to. No. Yeah. Let's go over this way. What's this? Let's go look at some food. Our provisions are rather low, my lord. I made the count again. Just to be sure. Has anything gone missing? No. Doesn't look that way. Seems Eric was the only one to resort to thievery. But I'm still worried about our stores. We couldn't withstand a siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out, we'd only last a fortnight. But there are steps Fortnite, we can hard. take. In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. We can do it again. If you'd like. We've done it before in desperate times. The last long winter, my family had to give all our pigs to the house. I trust you to make the right decision. We'll have to take food from the small folk and hope they can fend for themselves. If the house falls, they'd all be worse for it. I'll see to the arrangements, my lord. Hmm. Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider, and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. No, it's nothing. I just need to walk and clear my head. That's right, I'm not going to ask you about it. You got all excited and giddy, didn't you? Can I talk to her? Are you holding a sword or a turkey leg? Maybe it's click and drag up.
Okay, whatever. Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do, showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow. At first light. Uncle, why are you packing? Yeah. You're not going somewhere, are you? Yeah. Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with him, to help the house. She said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, that I'll be of no help to you in Essos. But she insisted. I will hold, of course, until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. But you know that just as well. She's my mother. Of course I'll be <coughs> kind to her. I know you will. Whoa. You're good hearted, my lord. That is your true strength. Someone started watching this video at the wrong time. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Royland is the man for the job. He'd be a fine choice. And I'd trust him. Why Sir Royland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Royland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk to you. Oh, I tried to talk to you earlier too. You and you listening. You are like, oh, I'm touching my horse and I can go play with you. Hey, can I touch it? Mother told me Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. Whoa, whoa, what's going on with your else. eyes? Are you baiting? Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. You but right now I'm more concerned about you. I saw what you did to that man. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrett being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. Well, I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? Ethan, please. Tell me. Who should I name as my sentinel? It should definitely be Duncan Tuttle. He's dependable and smart, and everyone trusts his judgement. Sir Royland is unpredictable and likely to make matters worse. Ah, uh, everyone's making You've my head me good advice. all confused. Thank I don't you. know what to do. I'm confuzzled. What are you doing this to me? You're all like, oh, you should make Duncan person. But even my other uncles are all saying, like, no, man, you just totally do. See, you're touching your horse again. You're high on horse poop. I'm not even, I'm not even gonna listen to you. Come on, you dogs. You'll not be fighting here forever. Go come on, come on! What did I say? Swords off! Slash right! Parry! Again! Oh, I can't look at him anymore. Sword oh. up! Swing left! Parry! Wrong! I know Parry, he's a nice I guy. I need no dogs and old swords. Word. Of course, my lord. I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. What's the state of our defences? Are these men ready for what's coming? This lot, ready? No, but they will be. We post anyone who can hold a spear along the parapet, up where they won't get much scrutiny, and put our meanest, nastiest looking brutes front and centre. That'll show Ramsay we're a force in our own right. You've got to project power, especially when you're weakened. Thank you, Sir Royland. I'll let you get back to training these men. Thank you, my lord. And uh, I'll be sure to watch out for more deserters. After today, I suspect there'll be more to come. Hmm. Yes, my lord. I need to name a sentinel. Ah, you do. And it's good you came to me. I know this house, and everyone here knows me. They know I can hold the reins. Or wield the sword in equal measure. I'm the man you need. And might I remind you 
It was Duncan Tuttle who sent Garen to the wall. He undermined your authority and made you look weak to the White Hills. I would never do that to you. And if you pardon me saying so, I think your father would be proud. Seeing you make good choices as a young lord. Duncan Tuttle is a good man. Aye, a fine man. Why is he? But he has no business being sentient. He likes to talk. But now's the time for action. So, when will you declare your decision, my lord? Tonight, at the small council meeting. Very good. I trust your judgment, my lord. You could do it right in front of Duncan, just to like, like I'm your uncle. I'm like, you know, what? screw that. Here. I've decided to name you as my sentinel, Sir Roland. Thank you, my lord. But are you sure? No. Well, not entirely, I suppose. But I'm still considering you for the job. I see. Well, naming your sentinel is not to be taken lightly, my lord. Of course. <laughs> Can I offer to give it to him again? Just, oh no, really, I can't! Oh, come on! No, come on! Oh, I was just screwing me! Dude, hey! Come on, dude! Don't, don't be all buttered! Hey! Now, what, what? Say, Perry, get that sword out. Do you want me to find a guy named Perry? Hey, uh, 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 uh. Wait, 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 Oh, God. I don't want to look at him. I was going to give you that bracer, by the way, but I'm not going to give it to you now. I don't even care. Let's look out through our porculus. It'd be funny if I got shot in the head right now. Walking back, don't trip on the rocks. Ethan, don't do really socks. Oh, it's Ryan. I'm gonna talk to him. Let's let's just look at him first. Oh wow, you have a dagger, but you're making a wooden sword. You retarded kid. <laughs> yeah, Careful. Keep at it, and you won't have much left. Something to pick your teeth with. No, Ethan. Look at this. All good swords have a name. I call mine two brothers. I carved this to give me strength. And this, so I remember. I mean, I could never forget, but, oh, you know, don't you? And what of your brother Asher? Where's his name? There's only two sides to the blade. Besides, he left, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Someday, I'll have a real one, but not like that one. Only a lord could have that sword. You'll have a good sword, I'm sure of it. Yeah. I watched you today. I saw what you did to that man. Was he our enemy? A bad man? Everyone keeps talking about them. No, he's not our enemy, but he did a bad thing. Then I wish you'd hurt him. People who do bad things need to be punished. Someone did something bad to Father and Roderick. Someone should hurt them even worse. I want a real sword. No one's afraid of wood. I'll find the men who took Roderick someday, and I'll make sure I have a real sword when I do. Now, your sword. Swords up! You can't lift them, yeah? What? What are you saying over there? God damn minivan. Hey, who's that? Hey, is that the macho man? What are you. Hey! Hey! Yeah, there we go. Hey! So, what are you eating? What do you got there? Are you asleep? Hey there, Mixmaster Mike. Mixmeister <laughs> Mike. Get a Meister. 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 Yes, Lord Ethan. I see you've spoken to a number Mixed of Meister people. Mike. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? What is your perspective? What is it you're doing over here? Admiring the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the Citadel. The wood may be black, but I see gold. An entire forest of gold. What do you mean? It is our greatest asset, my lord. 
Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? We could ransom ourselves. You can hardly put a price on your own life, or the lives of those you love. How much do we have to give, Maester? From here to Wolfswood Creek, and then across the next two ridges, it should be enough to satisfy Ramsay Snow, I imagine. Bloodlust can often be sated by gifts and gold. Hmm. My lord, are you now ready to name your sentinel? Yes. Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. Oh snap, we're getting together, we're gonna make some pie, we're gonna eat that pie, it's gonna be real good. I don't know why we make pie. Maybe I'm craving pie. Even gears gone. Look at them gears grinding. Well, you know what? This is going to be a shorter episode today, everybody. I am going to end it here uh, early at a 20-minute mark. Again, I, I'm really looking forward to when this gets all, like, exciting and stuff again. But, uh, yeah, um, I've been enjoying it again so far. It, it's, it's very interesting on how, I guess, I wonder if the game changes depending on how you play as well and what kind of answers you give. Because that, that, this is more like a choose-your-own-adventure type thing. It's hard to read out some people, but it seems like everyone was pissed off my decision and that I should have punished that man and I should have chopped off three of his fingers. At least he can still hold a sword then, you know. Or maybe? Three fingers? Let's see. Maybe we would take two ring fingers and, like, a middle finger and then he could be, like, a ninja turtle. Anyways, uh, thank you all for watching. I'm Stephanie, Old World Gamer, and we'll see you all next time for Game of Thrones.